Hi guys. Um, I wanted to read The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle to review our time, how to tell time by the hour. So you need to get your clock that you made and um, your analog clock that you made. And who remembers what the front part of the clock is called? The whole circle area. It's called the face. And then we had the long minute hand and the short, what's the short hand called? Hour hand. Very good. So I'm going to read the story. And in the story, there are different times that the grouchy ladybug asks some other bugs if they want to fight. So when I say the time, I want you to set the time on your analog clock to the time that you hear me say. So The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up and a friendly ladybug flew in from the left it saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It was it too saw the aphids and wanted to have them for breakfast. So there's a little teeny tiny clock and that is what five o'clock looks like. Your hour hand is on the five and your minute hand is on the twelve. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looks like the other bugs was looking straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. And it puffed itself up and flew away. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew away. So there's our six o'clock. Your hour hand is on the six, and your minute hand is on the twelve. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. So there's our seven o'clock. So your hour hand is on the seven, and your minute hand is on the twelve. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew up. So there's our eight o'clock. Our hand is on the eight, minute hand is on the twelve. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. There's our nine o'clock. Hour hand on the nine, minute hand on the twelve. At ten o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. 
Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. So there's our 10 o'clock. Hour hand on 10, minute hand on 12. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. <gasps> You're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. So your hour hand's at 11, and minute hand is on 12. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Both hands are on our 12, and since it is 12 o'clock noon, is that a.m. or p.m.? Hmm. P.m. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. So there's our one o'clock. Hour hand on one, minute hand on 12. And it is p.m. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. So there's two o'clock, hour hand on two, minute hand on 12. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horns. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. There's our three o'clock, our hand on three, minute hand on 12. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and she flew off. Now, how can that ladybug not want to fight the elephant? How can the elephant not be big enough? Look at his size and look at her size. Its trunk is bigger than her. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug. And she flew off. There's our five o'clock. Our hands on five, minute hands on 12. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, want to fight? But it did not answer, so she flew on. Now the time said 5.15. We didn't talk about the minutes, but the minute hand would be on the three. And the hour hand is still on the five. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale, Spin, hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer at all, so she flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, hey, you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap whew, that it flew across the sea and across the land. And at six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived back where she had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. 
There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. And she's the friendly ladybug said, you're welcome. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both the ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. The end. That's always a good story, good time story to read. So I hope you all were able to get the right times. I'm sure you were. And I hope you enjoyed The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. Bye.